pretty. <gasps> pretty. Pretty. What the f I'm not the pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I mean, you are because you're a child. <laughs> Whoever made this video, I, I, I got a quick question. Why would you make children curse? These people have made a video about feminism. To prove their point, they put children in front of a camera and made them say fuck. Your point is instantly invalid. I'm pretty fucking powerful and ready for success. You don't even understand the world yet. How can you be ready for success as a child? How can you be powerful as a child? I'm telling you right now, when I was five years old, it's not like I was, yeah, you know, I'm ready for success. I'm ready to make these millions. That's not how kids work. This dumbass company has pick the wrong people to say these phrases. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck? I don't think there is something more offensive than making a child stand in front of a camera and say the word fuck. Or the fucking on equal and sexist way. Society treats girls and women. Feminism has been solved. <laughs> women and men are pretty much the same in society nowadays. Because all the huge problems you had back in the 50s, they're not the same today. I mean, sure, we can find a little issue somewhere. If we look real close in the details, I mean, we might find something. But the big problems are solved. So what's more offensive? Destroying a child's reputation or the small issues that we have today as a society? Women are paid 23% less than men for the exact same fucking work. No, they're not. If you work at the same job, in the same position, you will make the same amount of money. It would be very obvious if the boss decided to pay you 23% less than the men, just because you were a woman. Let's pretend that there's a world where only 10 men and 10 women exist. There are hard jobs that pay good, and there are easy jobs that pay less. Biologically, the man probably wants more of a challenge. So if the men were to take the harder jobs that paid more, and the women were to take the easier jobs, there would be a gender pay gap. That does not mean that a man and a woman pick the same job and got different paychecks. And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's. School doesn't determine how much you get paid. So, bad grades equal more bank? Just because you're a boy? No, not just because you're a boy. You can create your own business without straight A's. You can't take grades in school and compare it to how people get paid when they're adults because it's not correlated. Um, hello and hell no. Pay up, motherfucker. I shouldn't need a penis to get paid. None of them would talk like this they're like five years old why the fuck would you make a five-year-old say that it's it's so premature like it doesn't make any sense kids don't talk this way man they give a fuck about lego they don't give a shit about feminism i shouldn't need a penis to get paid you shouldn't be saying that shit as a child and violent fucked up fact one out of every five women will be sexually assaulted okay first of all that's not something that feminism can Things. There is evil on this planet. No matter how much feminism you shove down someone's throat, there's always going to be people who and we can't do shit about that. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Some people just want to commit crimes. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or by a man. One, two, three, four, five. Which one of us will it be? Why the fuck would you paint that picture? Here's a hot tip. Stop telling girls how to dress. Try to dress like a decent person. That's what you're being told. Nothing else. Don't show off your parts. You're making a child stand in front of a camera and say that you shouldn't tell them how to dress at all. So what you're saying is they should dress exactly how they want to, regardless of what that is. That's kind of creepy, bro. And start teaching boys not to fucking dress. If someone robs a liquor store, the owner of it can't just walk up to him and be like, bro, stop this, man. It's not okay. He doesn't give a fuck. He wants the money. This is not an issue that you can fix. We're glad a women's right to vote is here. But equality's next step is walking to the car without fear. I don't think men feel secure walking to their car either. You look around, you make sure no one's creeping up on you. It isn't about gender. It's more about uh, knowing if you could protect yourself or not. Be pretty. So here's the tricky thing. Hey, pretty, it's a compliment. But here's how this focus works to girls' detriment. Society teaching girls that our bodies, boobs, and butts are more important than our brains. No, that's what Instagram is telling you, not society. This leads us to thinking our worth comes from our waistline. My no. aspirations in life should not be worrying about the shape of my I think every intelligent person on the planet would agree with you. This video is just a bunch of kids being told to rant about feminism. And from the way that they're talking, it's obviously rehearsed. Fuck that sexist shit. Fuck hate.com. Just throw away the curse words, man. I'd be a lot more respectful in this fucking video if that was the case.